Welcome to 3D Wonders. We've heard from many of our customers who work with large objects, often several meters tall, and struggle with the limitations of wired 3D scanners for data collection. The cables can be a hassle, especially when trying to scan big items. That's why we're excited to introduce the FreeScan UE Pro 2, a new wireless metrology grade 3D scanner from Shining 3D, perfect for both reverse engineering and inspection. The FreeScan UE Pro 2 features built-in binocular photogrammetry for incredible volumetric accuracy down to 20 microns. This ensures precise alignment for large-scale objects. Its fully portable wireless design means you can scan in virtually any environment, free from the constraints of cables, giving you ultimate flexibility for your projects. In today's video, we'll show you how to use the scan data captured by the FreeScan UE Pro 2 and reverse engineer it with GeoMagic Design X software. Let's get started. Since this part is a rotational component, I will start by creating a center axis to simplify the sketching and modeling process. Now, I'll create the blade using a 3D sketch to define the surface of the upper blade. The 3D sketch tool is especially useful in reverse engineering freeform surfaces because spline points snap directly to the mesh data, helping us recreate complex shapes with accuracy. The number of splines we use directly affects surface smoothness. Fewer splines create a smoother surface, while more splines add control. Here, I'll use four splines for the desired balance of smoothness and accuracy. Additionally, DesignX's 3D sketch tool allows us to set spline points precisely, making adjustments easier to achieve an accurate surface. The smooth command further refines the spline, enhancing the finish. These tools are essential in reverse engineering to ensure we achieve a smooth, accurate surface. Next, I will use the loft command to create the surface and check for deviations. In a real project, multiple iterations may be necessary if the surface does not meet expectations. To ensure smoothness, we can use zebra stripes. For parts intended for production, it's essential to ensure the CAD model has a smooth surface. Now, I will create the opposite side of the blade. This surface has a more twisted shape, so I will make splines that cross the first set to optimize accuracy. In this area, I will position the splines closer together since the twist is most pronounced. For the flatter sections, I will space the splines farther apart I'll set the number of spline points to 4, and we can also manually add points to the splines in areas that don't align with the scan data. The manual point addition tool in DesignX allows us to fine-tune the splines to closely match complex surfaces. This tool is especially useful for detailed reverse engineering, as it lets us enhance accuracy on challenging shapes while preserving the smoothness of the final surface. Next we will loft this 3D sketch. Now, I will create a sketch to capture the outline of the blade using the Silhouette Range tool. This tool simplifies the process of extracting the outline from an object with a non-geometric shape, allowing for greater accuracy in our design. If you think GeoMagic Design X is the right tool for you, visit 3dwonders.shop to get started or try the free trial with our reliable support team at your side. Extend the previously created surface of the blade until it surpasses the solid body.
Once done, I will use this surface to cut the solid body. Following this, I will add a radius to this area. Next, I will create a cutting plane to trim the outer edge of the blade. I will use a sketch to draw a circle with a radius of 2000 millimeters. And then extrude this sketch. After that, I will cut the solid body of the blade using the cut command. Afterward, apply a circular pattern to the blade, creating four blades for this part. We can then combine all these components. Finally, I will add a radius to this area. Checking for smoothness reveals that with these results it is ready for machining. That wraps up our demo for today. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the FreeScan UE Pro 2 or GeoMagic Design X software, feel free to contact us or visit our website. We're here to help with your next project, so don't hesitate to get in touch, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more scanning tips and reverse engineering demos. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.